Maybe you've just tuned in to my 2020 trend prediction series, which was actually a three part special based on lots of different big ideas that we've got predicted for the year ahead. And you've gone away and you've been thinking, yeah, that's great, Laura, but how am I gonna make any of these ideas work in my business. It's great, of course, having fabulous ideas, but the implementation of ideas in the right way is a whole other kettle of fish. If that's you, you are gonna love this episode. I've got Sam Flynn on the show this week and she let us share the behind the scenes action of her recent turbo photo shoot. So the footage you're about to see happened just before we all broke up for Christmas time. Now, what I think you're gonna love about this episode is that you can see the entire creative process. So not just lots of really cool big ideas, but actually how that is broken down into a systematic process. So this time we're going to see Sam in front of a giant green screen wall and we picked that especially because I knew we could take that out in post-production. So let's get into this shall we? For all of the best ideas and inspiration when it comes to anything to do with personal branding photography, I think you probably want to stay tuned here on TV with me, your host, Laura Pearman. It's probably easy if you just go ahead and subscribe. You can do that now down here. I put out an episode every single Friday and I make sure that we focus around this wider theme on all of the episodes we create here. I've shared a similar shoot to this in the past, you can go and see that here, but what's different about this episode is of course my beautiful client Sam Flynn, but that we've gone into a little bit more detail on the creative process behind why we selected shooting on green screen for her needs. This time we're going to be looking at all that beautiful behind the scenes action and I'm going to give you a little bit of a teaser on the beginnings of how these photos have turned out and then next week we're going to go into the final finishing touches and what it looks like when everything is pulled together. I also made time to do a little bit of an interview with Sam because I wanted to pick her brains about social media and we have the full interview coming out next week. This was my 394th photo shoot since setting up my photography business eight years ago. Now thinking about that number, I'm getting a little bit concerned because I've got no really fun ideas about how I should go about celebrating the big 400th photo shoot. So have a think and if you've got any fun ideas, you can send them to me over on Instagram or just comment below. Unsurprisingly, I met Sam on social media. We got chatting on Instagram, and then that led to us having a little bit more of a conversation in the DMs on Instagram, and then that led to us booking a Cybat cocktail call. What I loved instantly about Sam is that she's a very focused woman. She had a very precise goal in mind for what she needed the photography for, and she it was really clear straight away that she'd thought out like the project management of how to launch this new part of her business. I'm not allowed to tell you the name of it yet because it still hasn't been released at the time that this episode will be going live, but do stay tuned because she's going to be launching it soon. Because Sam came to me when she'd figured all of that stuff out, we kind of evolved the conversation quite rapidly into talking about how I could help her with some creative ideas that would support all of her clear-cut goals. And this experience has reminded me why I love working with really driven entrepreneurs. I love it when I know exactly how I can dovetail in with the right kind of creativity to help an entrepreneur achieve their goals. And it's so much easier when you know what those goals are and they've been very carefully thought out. So if you consider yourself to be the kind of entrepreneur who is operating in fifth gear, you've got your eyes on the prize, you've got all of your stuff together, then I would love to personally invite you to book on for a cyber cocktail call with me. This is a 30 minute quick chat it's BYO, so you've got to bring your own cocktail. But the beauty of this is that it's done online and I operate in all of the time zones around the world. So if you want to have a talk, book in. I'm going to put a link to how you do that in the show notes. 
Let's take a look at shoot day. Hey Instagram, I just thought I'd share a little bit of an unglamorous moment in my day to day life. I've just had my lunch in the car with the engine going because I'm off to do a shoot after being at a reading lecture this morning about marketing. Shoot day now, so I'm heading over the river to Gateshead to get set up for a shoot with beautiful client Sam Flynn. At Jam Jaw with Sam Flynn. Let's do this. Sam is having a whole space theme to her pictures. If you've got any questions for her, um, by all means send them over. We're going to be doing an interview after we've wrapped. So if you're quick, I'll ask her a related question. Wrapped on that interview, Sam has shared so many different value bombs. You need to stay tuned for when it comes out on YouTube in a few weeks time. Now, let's take a look at how we edited this. Okay, so I couldn't resist doing this. So we're gonna head over to Unsplash here, free stock photography site. That is really helpful. And let's see if we can find some outer space examples. Mm, nothing's jumping out at me here. Right, let's try a different search then. Go with galaxy. Yeah, that's better. These are really cool. Let's go with this one. Mm, no, not feeling it. Go with this one. Great job, Graham, by the way. Shout out to you. Really good photo. And I'm just going to save that. Okay over in photoshop then so you can see this is the original shot of sam on the green screen with all of the flaws then panna there she is cut out we've pinched in her clothes a little bit around here and i've taken out a lot of the green effect in the highlights there's actually loads of green in the skin tone when you shoot on green um screen so you've got to be careful with that so we'll duplicate sam over sorry we'll duplicate over the base scene onto our shot of Sam, the retouched one. Yeah, and then we need to make it bigger. Looking good. And we'll just swap the layers around. Boom! How cool is that for very little effort in post-production and the beauty of this is that when sam gives these images to her designer or to her web designer look they can just move her around on any pre-designed background that they've created let's just show you what i was visualizing when we were shooting this so we can throw in a little bit of text here let's make a text box there and we'll say a call to action graphic right here. Let's have a little play around with this text. Yeah, it's starting to look good. Central align that. Let's move it up just a smidgey. Yeah, that's starting to look really cool. Boom. So that is a really crude, quick mock-up for you. As soon as we wrapped, Sam and I sat down to have a really good chat. I really wanted to pick her brains about the psychology that goes on behind really good social media. We've also got into a little bit of detail about the new business element that she's about to launch. And she drops so many value bombs in this conversation. So make sure you stick around for our conversation next week. Mwah. Now before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.